Hi everybody, my name is Ken Williamson with Newmark Corporation and I get the privilege of giving you a tour of the brand new 2023 Essex. I hope you get excited as much as we are about what changes we've made. Front caps, rear caps, furniture, flooring, lithium ion battery packs, standard, um, everything has been touched in this coach to just make it completely new and really exciting this year. I think one of the things you're going to notice is the brand new front cap, just absolutely gorgeous and we're excited about that. When I talk about Numar, I love talking quality, comfort, and safety. Some of the things we like talking about, Essex we've done for a couple years, we've had hidden windshield wipers. Gives you a much better view of the road, not only for safety, but also to see the beautiful view you're traveling on. You'll see the box up here, that's your, that's your um, mobile eye, which is going to be your lane departure, give you a warning there. Your box down here is your standard collision mitigation system. So what it's going to do is if you have someone stop in front of you, you're not quite aware for a minute, it's actually going to start breaking the coach for you. We're going to continue to talk about some of the safety items. We get a lot of feedback lately that you must like much brighter headlights. So we've gone to the Bright Star headlights, going to give you a brighter day, a light during the day, or excuse me, in the evening in normal operation, but also your brights are much brighter also. Talking about that safety as we walk around, the monitor right here is going to be one of six blind spot monitoring systems. So what we're going to do is if you start drifting into that lane, it's going to give you a warning to keep you in your lane in the blind spots you don't see. Today, we're really excited to walk around the 4595, which is a brand new floor plan for us this year. We're going to look at the Wells exterior, and later on, we're going to take a look at the Hepburn interior. But we've got two new floor plans this year we're really excited about. We're going to look at the 4595, but we've also got a 4521. The 4521, if you're familiar with Numar, used to be our 4533. Great floor plan, gave you the dinette on this side. The only drawback of that was the way the slide was configured, you lost some of your access to your storage. So what we've done is completely cleared that up. You have full height access baggage doors and it's just a much easier to use accessible floor plan. I think you're gonna love it. Taking a look at the 4595, you're gonna see the Hepper, the, excuse me, the Wells exterior. One of the really neat features on the Essex is we do a six stage cut and buff process to give it that real high end quality look. It's almost like a mirror in there. So what we're gonna do is, as you step back a little bit, one of the neat features I think you're gonna not notice is luggage doors handles. We've gone away from those. The King Air a couple years ago, we went to the push button, release, and soft close doors. So all you have to do is push the button, it releases to you, and opens right up. This particular coach has a standard exterior entertainment center with a storage track above it. And then you've got an optional power tray, again, with the storage racks above it to take full use of those large compartments. So as we walk around, we're gonna go through in all those compartments and just show you how much storage we actually have. So again, another power tray here, the shelf above, and your last compartment over here, you're gonna have a manual tray. So now you can really take all those tools with you. You've got a wet or a vacuum system through inside the coach. It's got a port for outside. You wanna vacuum your store or your, uh, your vehicle or the basement of the coach or the inside. This is gonna be your water compartments. So you're going to have complete coverage over here. So your water tanks are in a heated compartment, but you're going to have the racks in here so you take any of your exterior stuff you want to take with you. This is going to be your second monitor for that blind spot monitoring system. But as we walk around, I hope you take a look at the new windows. We went to a bonded window this year. We're really excited about that. Not only are we going to show you on the outside and the other side of the coach how beautiful it can be and how big they are, but some of the neat benefits when we get inside the coach. I want to step around and take a look at the rear of the coach because it's absolutely gorgeous, just like the front. As you come around, you'll see new tail lights, new engine, or, uh, engine compartment door, and a completely redesign on the rear cap. As last year, it continues to be on the Spartan K3 chassis with the Superstar or the Star Foundation. Makes it a real strong chassis, very quiet, go down the road, and we're just really happy at the drive. It's going to have the 20,000 pound towing capacity, which gives you the ability to take that stacker trailer. One of the neat things we did is you have it on the front dash, and we'll take a look at that when we go inside, is you're going to have a button for heavy haul. And what that's going to do if you're taking a stacker trailer with you, 
it will transfer some of the weight from the back of the coach and put it on the drive axle to give you a lot more control of that tow vehicle. So we're really excited about that. It's something we've done on the King Air for a couple of years. As we step back around, you see the other blind monitor sen or sensor. One of the really neat things we did this year is in your water compartment. So we're gonna open it. Again, you got the push button release. Real excited how it's been laid out for a couple years now. Easy to access. You, you've got the multi or, uh, mana block plumbing system. You've got your control panel here, which gives you access to your water tanks, a generator start. New for this year, if you could drain your tanks, you've got a tilt switch. So if you hit, hit twit, tilt, the whole coach will swing to this side, helping you much easier access or get the water out of those tanks at a much quicker rate. So we're gonna continue. Again, the, saw, the closing the automatic closing drawers, no slamming, very easy to use. You've got your hydronic system. We use the Oasis heat system like we used for many years. Really, really happy with that. So as we step up, one of the things I was really excited to talk about is the lithium ion battery packs. You've got two 320 amp hour battery, lithium batteries. If you notice there's an opening there, you also have an option, not through us, but through your dealer, to add a third battery there. This is gonna give you 50% more batteries than you would have on a standard AGM battery system. You've also got, if you notice, two inverters. Gives you the ability to run one air conditioner off those inverters. The neat thing about the lithium ions, unlike an AGM battery or standard six volt battery, your AGS system works off those, and as you start using it, you turn it on, you have about a 13.4 volts. As you use that, it starts dropping down to about 12.5 volts. Your AGS calls to kick on, it kicks it on, and then you lose. The problem with that is you're losing power, and electronics don't like that. So what this system does, you start at 13.4 volts approximately, at 70% usage of that, or down to 30%, you still have approximately 13.4 volts, but what it does is that kicks on at full 13.4 volts and gives you that power, it's cons or solid power, all the way through. I hope you notice the new bonded windows up here. Absolutely gorgeous. Not only can you see outside, but it looks beautiful on the inside too. We're gonna step inside, we're gonna take a look at that, and I can show you some of the benefits of those. But right now, the easy thing about that, or the best thing about that from this point of view, it's a bonded window. So what that means, there's no frame on the inside, a clamping frame, so it's a much more solid window. You don't get the creaking, rattling, anything inside the coach. So it's a much quieter coach going down the road. So we're gonna step back and go in inside, but as we're going, I wanna talk about it. One of the new features we did this year is we added five exterior options rather than four. And as we step back around, the really neat thing is right behind us is gonna be the one of the West, Westminster option. Beautiful graphics here. And again, I call this the Westminster. And if you notice some of the things we really are proud of, the shadowing behind here is absolutely gorgeous. I just think this is one of the most striking coaches in the industry. And I think it's gonna really, really show well and drive well. All of our graphics were absolutely gorgeous this year. And again, rather than having four options, you have five options. So we're gonna step up and we're gonna go inside the coach. And again, as we said earlier, we took a look at the Wells exterior. Now we're gonna take a look at what's called the Hepburn interior, and it's gonna have the pearl glazed maple cabinetry. So I'm gonna step in and show you some of the new features in the cockpit. I hope you notice the new driver and passenger seats. Again, we talked about the complete redesign on the furniture. It took on the door. Complete redesign on the furniture. One of the things we did standard this year, your passenger seat will be a standard size seat. It's gonna have the heat or the heating and cooling system and you'll have an option for a buddy seat. This particular coach has the buddy seat in it with the optional uh, vi or massage feature. As you step into the dash area, one of the switches up here is that heavy haul. We talked about an air proportioning valve that will transfer that weight up front giving you a lot more control of the, the tow vehicle. New valid dash, a 13, little over 13.1 inch valid dash, new configuration. 
a lot easier to see, read, and control. One of the things we did last year is try to give you much better uh, wireless charging pads, a lot easier to access, and a larger area to charge. As we've done for a couple years, you have a power window, huge windshield, and that's what we're going to talk about when we walk to the back, the view you get when you're walking through here. The passenger side, we didn't want to forget the passenger. We added an extra pocket on the side for them, a new grab bar that's integrated into the front dash. So we think it's really exciting coming in, really beautiful and very functional. One of the things I like talking about when we get up here is the new silver leaf, or the, uh, yeah, the silver leaf pad. Much larger, much easier to control. One of the things we try to do is make it very easy to use. So we can just go to awnings and you can control all your awnings from here. You can go to the home feature, go back. You can go to the home feature or batteries. I go to batteries. What's really neat about the lithium ion battery packs. If I turn, if I'm not plugged in and I'm dry camping and I've got four or five lights on, this is actually going to show me how many hours I have left on those batteries. If I came into the coach and I turned two lights on and two lights off and turned the TV on, that's actually going to change and show you how much time you have left. So it really gives you an accurate uh, feel and you're not guessing. Again, with those lithium batteries, you've got about 50% more power. The neat thing is with this packet, it's also a package, you're also only going to take about four hours to completely charge those from dead. So I'm going to step back into the living area and show you the new Essex interior. So, once we step in the living area, remember this is the 4595 with the Hepburn interior, and it's, we're really excited how beautiful it is and how easy it lays out. You notice the brand new furniture design, the new cabinetry design with beading, the new scroll work on the fascias. Really excited how pretty it is and how it came out. As we've done for a couple years, you're going to have the soft closed doors and drawers. This is where I get real excited about the inside of the coach. We talked about those bonded windows. Rather than having that C-clamp where you have to frame around it and make, try to make it look good, we can actually frame around it with wood and because we're not using that to hold it in place, it's bonded just like your front windshields are. So it makes it a much more easy to use, or a much, much, much prettier look. Once you go to the other side and you look to the driver's side, it gives you 14 feet of window. You guys are traveling to beautiful locations and trying to see the outdoors. This is going to give you that opportunity. So we're really excited out of this. The new valances are gorgeous, and it really takes advantage of those large windows. For the you that need a little more storage, you do have the option to put cabinetry across here to take those belongings with you. I'm going to switch over to the other side now. And remember, brand new floor plan, 4595. One of the things we did is give you a large kitchen. We've also put Bosch appliances in here. So you have a Bosch uh, microwave, a three uh, burner Bosch induction cooktop, new look Corian. Again, we talked about the cabinetry. You've got the beading. As we've done for years, you've got the dovetail construction. And that's one of the things we talked about, the comfort, the quality, and the safety. Having the big sofas, you've got a hide the bed sleeper sofa, you've got a jackknife sofa, very comfortable. We talk about the quality with the dovetail construction. But as we go back through, you have the optional kitchen window, which brings a lot of light in here. And what's really exciting about the 4595 floor plan is not only do you get this large kitchen, you get an additional area right behind that. Normally, if you don't have this beverage option, so we have a wine cooler down here with the wine cabinet above it. That's one of the options. If you didn't do that, this cabinetry would continue and look just like this all the way through. Same thing with the overhead. This would just carry on and give you that additional storage, which a lot of you are looking for. The really cool thing is you go to the other side. You do a huge pantry. So lights come on automatically. One of the neat things we did a couple years ago at the Essex and the King Air is once you fill these up, they get pretty heavy and sometimes they come out. Well, one of the things we did is once you disengage the parking brake, this rod will flip over and lock these doors into place. So you don't have to worry about any of those coming out. Also new for this year, we've got dividers for your cookie sheets, your pans, stuff like that. They're all adjustable, so you can put a couple cookie sheets in, move those, put some pans in, 
some uh, skillets, whatever you want to do, and that's going to be on a lot of your diesel products this year. Then we step back a little bit further and we talked about the Bosch appliances. Let's talk about the Bosch refrigerator. Not only did we go to a 21.6 cubic foot refrigerator, Bosch, but we also put the ice and the water back in the door. I think that's going to make a lot of people excited. I know it did to me. With this floor plan, one of the really neat things is we had the pantry here with all the adjustable drawers. Now we're going to have another pantry with adjustable shelves. Again, all the shelves are adjustable. You can put them anywhere you want. And you're going to have six shelves in there to really take anything you're looking for. This particular floor, floor plan right behind the kitchen, you're going to have your mid-bath. New things you're going to see is your backsplashes. You're going to continue that look with a little smaller tile, the subway tile on the back. You're going to see a glass uh, undermount dash or sink. Um, and the in-light mirrors, which are absolutely gorgeous. Then we're going to step back into the master bedroom, the main bedroom. Once we come to the main bedroom, I think you're going to notice everything's completely different. So you've got a new headboard, new valances, new cabinetry, new face or bedding, new TV location, new dresser, everything. We try to really touch everything in the coach. The ceiling treatments, everything we try to really do. I hope you notice the flooring we walked in. It's a beautiful new floor. And you're going to see some more of that when we walk into the back. We've centered the front, you know the front, we've got a 50 inch 4K TV, a 49 or 43 inch in the front, and another 43 inch in the bedroom, all 4K TVs. One of the really neat features we did this year is we had some people ask about some windows in the bedroom. So this particular one is an egress window. You'll see that with the bright red lighting or the uh, painting. If it's not an egress, the window's still gonna be the same. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna open up and there's an attached screen to it. So you really get a chance to have some, uh, um, some air in the bedroom. Close it up and it closes right up so you don't have to have that. Once you step back, we're really excited. Again, just like we've had for a couple years, you've got your power or your um, phone chargers, your wireless phone charger or cordless phone chargers on each side. So you can just lay your phone on there. One of the things we had done for many years, up underneath here, you have another control panel. So you can turn your lights on. You've got an all light switch. So every light in the coach, you just hit that, all the lights go on and off. We're gonna step back into the rear bathroom here, rear bathroom, and show you some of the neat features back there. So going back in, you're gonna see two new medicine cabinets, one on each side, and they do open up for more medicine or for storage. Brand new shower application. This is a 40 by 32 inch shower. Um, a really beautiful tile, new inlay, backsplashes, everything. On the right side, or on the, on the left side of the sink, you're going to have an overhead cabinet, four drawers for storage, and then on the right side of the double sinks, you're going to have hanging storage. So if you need more hanging, you can do that. <clears throat> you also have adjustable shelves in there you can take out or leave as you prefer. One of the neat things we did is we continued to use that uh, Whirlpool washer and dryer in the back, so it gives you a, two, 220, a true 220 dryer back there. We're excited about that. Um, I think we've covered a lot of what's in here. Uh, I hope you're excited about it as we are. We're really excited about all the changes and everything. We actually